Before any workout, and especially a high intensity one, it's important to warm up. What you do for a warm up depends on the kind of workout you're about to do and individual muscle imbalances or recovering injuries you may have. In general though, you want to do some light cardio to gradually bring the heart rate up and also focus on dynamic stretches. Dynamic stretching is basically just a moving stretch to warm the body up for the range of motion it's about to complete. Definitely check out my blog for more information on warm ups. The link is below in the video description. We're going to start with air jump roping in three, two, one. All right, so we're here for 15 seconds. We have four bodyweight cardio exercises, and we're just going to go through them twice. Okay, now let's take it to jumping jacks for 15 seconds. All right, now on to butt kickers. Let's switch to high knees now. If this is a little too intense, just march in place. I'll demo that. Either way, engage your core and really drive your knees upward. Time to start back at the top with air jump roping. We're gonna go through that one final time. Again, 15 seconds of each. Hopefully by now you're starting to feel nice and warm. Let's switch to jumping jacks. Now time for butt kickers. Last 15 seconds will be high knees. Maybe you're feeling looser than you were the first round and decide to run these out instead of marching, but listen to your body. Okay, now we're gonna slow it down and focus on some dynamic stretching. Let's start with an alternating back lunge. We're going to do three on each side and really take a big step back as you lower into these so that you feel a nice opening through the back hip flexor. Okay, one more each side, and then your very last one, I want you to hold the low lunge, bring your hands to the ground for a twist. So hands come to the floor, inside hand reaches up to the ceiling, back to the floor. We're going to do this three times. Reach up, peel open that top shoulder, back to the floor. Reach up, last time, back to the floor, step to plank, switch sides, same thing. It's the inside hand that reaches up and open. Two more times. Last time, peel that arm up. You're gonna bring both hands to the floor, step back to plank, and then walk your hands towards your feet, and you're gonna roll up to a standing position. Next up, let's do three squats. Feet are a little wider than hips distance apart. One more, and then at the top, you're gonna take your feet wide like a sumo squat. Sink down low, hold the slow squat position. Hands are gonna come to the inside of the thighs, and we're gonna dip one shoulder down, and then the other, going side to side, alternating, three each. This is one of my favorite shoulder stretches. One more, and then you're gonna bring your torso upright, straighten out your legs, and we're gonna do cross body toe touches. So opposite hand to opposite foot. This is a nice active wake up for the backs of the legs. One more to each side, and then we're gonna take it into hip circles. So you're gonna find kind of a lunge position with one foot forward, and then the back knee is gonna come up, circle around, step back. Do three in one direction, and then I want you to switch directions. I actually don't switch directions on this side, made a little mistake, so just do as I say, not as I do. All right, now we're gonna face the other direction, other foot in front, same thing, we're making big hip circles with the back knee, trace three circles one direction, and then switch that direction. I always feel like I'm about to fall in these. If you're like me, just bring a hand to a wall or a chair for balance. 
Last couple moves will focus on the upper body. We're gonna start by swinging the arms open and closed. As you close, you want the right arm on top of the left, open up wide, and then the next time you'll just have the opposite hand on top. Last couple, now we're gonna hold our arms outstretched to the side and we're gonna trace tight little circles. I want you to gradually start making these circles bigger and bigger. Really over exaggerated, last couple big ones and now let's switch direction, start small and gradually make the arm circles bigger and bigger. Last couple here again, over exaggerated. And that is your warm up. All right, you are ready to go on to your workout.